I'm Jared Sessler, and I am concerned about Muslims, about what they represent, and what they, what they have done in the name of Islam, and what they could do potentially in, in our community, and, and across America, and really around the world. My name is Hussein al Shamri. I am an American Muslim who grew up here in Burien and uh, went to college. I want to thank Jared for having me here today to uh, explain to the people what is really Islam about and why they should or should not fear us and what we have done in the community and what we have done now or in the past. So is it correct to say that a Muslim is a follower of Islam? Well, Muslim, yeah, a follower just like a Christian, you know, Christianity and a Christian, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I just wanted to add that point of clarification. Some of this for me has been an education, you know, since we met uh, a couple weeks ago, just learning about what, what the, some of the truths are behind Islam and, and that sort of thing that maybe I wasn't taught uh, as I've grown up. You know, my, my uh, perspective comes with a presupposition of growing up uh, in this community and, and underneath the influence of our media and I remember uh, being a very young boy seeing, uh, you know, blown up buses in Israel that, that were blown up by terrorists and the, and the buses were just charred and the tires were flat and the windows were blown out and the, and the story was, you know, 17 people died or whatever. And that was when I was a little boy and then, you know, get a little bit older and there's wars and there's conflicts around the, around the globe and then you know, not so many years ago here in America, you know, uh, in the name of Allah and, and Islam, we had a terrorist attack in, on uh, September 11th. And so, you know, there's, all, there's, there's, a, there's a, a fear that I think comes from that for me. Uh, and, and I want to try to work through that fear, not just for myself, but for anybody else who has those same kinds of feelings because you know, I think it's important that we either understand that there is a threat or uh, dispel the myths that we believed uh, from what we've seen and, um, you know, and try, to, and try to figure out how we bring our cultures and our, and our, our uh, communities together. Definitely. I, can, I think I can relate to you when you were a child watching these videos, what's, you know, the innocent people dying in Israel. I, was, I remember when I was a child, uh, uh, over in Iraq, they were always watching us. Uh, we're, we're seeing and viewing all these pictures of innocent people killed by the U.S. airplanes. And they always draw the image of bad Americans. Americans are horrible Christians, are horrible labeling American or the Christians at the bad people. But that view totally changed when I came to the United States and learned so many things about the Americans. And Americans are giving people, are generous people. They gave us so much opportunities why should I or others uh, accept and not feel threatened by Muslims living in our community? This is really, uh, I mean, part of your rights to ask such a question like that, I think. Uh, but also, I think part of it is get to know Muslims and uh, learn from them. Because we had that view as well when we came to the United States, or we were so afraid that we ran away from battles, wars, and distraction to our country. And we came to the United States, we had that gap. We're like, how could we live in this country? What could we do to basically to get along? And then we break that gap is by basically getting involved in the community. We have so much doctors, engineers, and we try to provide to the community so that way we get to, know, to let people look. We're just regular people, just like you. A lot of people in our community who served in the U.S. military, like myself, I was a, a subcontractor with the U.S. Special Forces to prove and to show, look, I am part of the country I'm providing, I'm giving. You know, so that way I can break that gap.